welcome to the stage of the RT New Comedy Awards, Edwin Sammy! Hello! My name's Edwin Salmon. Uh, I come originally from the Midlands, uh, Offaly, which of course is where the depression comes from. <laughs> and some of you may be thinking, what's wrong with that man? His hair helmet has slid all the way down <laughs> from the top of his head and is hanging under the side of his chin. Uh, some others of you may not be on drugs <laughs> and may be asking uh, reasonable questions like, just how many standard issue HB pencils can he fit in that thing anyway? <laughs> the answer is 17 <laughs> at last try. But uh, there are some, I mean, some people think if you have a beard like this, that you've got something to hide, like birds <laughs> or foodstuffs and other things. But no, uh, but I am hiding something uh, I have, I, unfortunately, I have no chin. <laughs> I was born without a chin, which uh, is helpful sometimes if I'm being attacked and someone goes to punch me, it just goes straight through and they get a nice little bristling massage across their knuckles and their anger subsides and they go, oh, I don't want to kill anymore. Uh, of course, uh, you know, looking like the bastard son of one of the Dubliners, um, I've been to the old traditional Irish music. Which is, uh, like, traditional Irish music to me is kind of like, it's, it's, it's bizarre. It's like the sort of Tourette syndrome of, of music. It's a... Always someone shouting, yow! At exactly the right time, as if they're reading it from sheet music. Yow! Yow! You know, never does someone go, yow! And they go, no, no, Jimmy, that's wrong. Come on. You're out of the group. Get the hell out of here. I like the Irish troubadour singers, the sort of, you know, the wavy voice singers, the I never knew true love till Mary shaved my thighs. <laughs> you know, that kind of weird singing. And then you have the Irish country and western stuff, which is, uh, you know, infinitely more depressing than the American country and western stuff. But it's, it's, it's got this, I've heard a lot of them and they have this weird sort of quiet loud style to it. But the first line is always nice and quiet. And then it gets, it goes up a notch like, walking down this dusty road, burdened by a heavy load. And I'm looking for the dance hall in the county of your heart. Um, you know. Thank you. Thank you for eating into my valuable time. <laughs> sometimes those songs have, uh, sometimes the lyrics to those songs are kind of counterintuitive, you know, it's like, and the simple things I hear when you whisper in my ear. You know, it's like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> and of course, the most famous of all Irish songs is the Irish rebel songs. Because uh, we had 800 years of repression, a nice round number, and, <laughs> and we hate the English apart from their football teams and many great programs and music and exports that we would be financially crippled without. <laughs> but apart from all that, fuck them. <laughs> and we have... We have the songs, the rebel songs that, uh, you know, in, uh, explain in excruciating detail what the English did to us. Well, the English came and they shaved our balls and they put <laughs> our balls outside of our pants and they put googly eyes upon our balls and they made us dance around and they left. And they tried to put us on the coffin ships but there was no room at all because it was full of coffins. <laughs> You know, coffin ships. So, uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I, I must leave you now and uh, take away the greatest part of me. <laughs> oh, no, baby, please don't go. Well, that's very nice of you to say, sir. <laughs> A completely unprompted call for more time, but unfortunately, that's, that's all the time I have. 
Uh, you've been wonderful. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you very much. <laughs>